welcome to my channel and welcome to my video that's explaining all about this really cute little palette that I have just picked up from Makeup Academy um, London, so it's MUA, and this is Cosmic Vixen. Um, and this, is, you can see, it's been well fingered. Um, <laughs> it has been swatched, but I haven't used this yet and I thought what I would do is I would do my usual video like I normally do where I'll show you a close up and I'll do some swatches for you etc etc. I'll do all that but I'm also going to try it out for the first time and use it on my eyes and see if we can get a look out of it etc. So let me give you the details. So this is Cosmic Vixen. Um, she is a 15 shade palette with shimmers in there, foils and some mattes. And we have got some really like beautiful, vibrant, warm colours in here. Um, and as you can see, it focuses more on your warms and also on your purples. This, I think, is absolutely gorgeous. Um, it is just just so so pretty. Any of you that have followed me on Instagram, you will see that I have put posters posters. I have put posts up obviously showing the swatches etc of what it looks like but obviously I'm going to be doing a video and I have had several people ask me, um, DMing me saying please would you do a video on this, please would you also do a video on the Green Goddess. The Green Goddess video is coming, I promise you. It is another little palette that I have picked up that looks absolutely amazing in the flesh as opposed to what it does online. But I was really, really excited about this one because it just looked so gorgeous. So she's 15 shades. Um, it's It just says that the whole packaging is 12 grams. And it has got a 12-month shelf life on it. There's no cruelty-free. There's no peta. There's no vegan on it. Um, and it just says divine, designed and developed in the UK, UK. Manufactured in the PRC. Um, so 15 complimentary eyeshadows created in stunning hues with a soft and silky finish. Create a multitude of looks with this highly pigmented formulas in both matte and pearl that blend easily for show-stopping results. Blend and layer the shades for multi-tonal multi finishes or wear alone for a softer look. Sorry, most of you know that I wear glasses, so when I'm trying to read and I've got the light in my eyes and I'm a bit like... <laughs> Um, so yeah, I'm going to go over now to the swatches. Cosmic Vixen, as you can see, it's really bright and really, really vibrant. Now, a lot of the time, you can pick up palettes that are like this, and you'll find that, as beautiful as they look, there's no payoff from it. So, I'm going to have a go and see what I can come up with. There's no mirror in the packaging at all, so I'm going to have to use my trusty old mirror, and I'm looking at my mirror, my, my face, and I'm thinking getting blind and wrinkles but for those of you that don't know I am 44 and obviously will be 45 on my next birthday and I am proud to wear makeup and I am proud to love makeup so we're going to go in first off with this colour here uh, which is there are no names for these colours if there are I can't actually see them no it just says colour number three so whoop Spilled that all over my trousers. So colour number three, I'm just going to take a sponge, a sponge. I'm just going to take my big brush and just 
I put that all over my lid. I've already put a primer on. Um, and I do feel like my primer has already gone very, very wrinkly. I'll be honest. I'm trying out the new Revolution Pro magne Magnetic Primer. Um, and as, much, as pretty as it looks, I'm just not impressed with it that much. But there you go, that's just me. So what I'm going to use as a transition colour in this, I'm going to use shade number two, which is this pink here. Um, I wouldn't normally use a pink as a transition shade, but what the heck. What the heck. So I'm just going, all. there's quite a bit of fallout from it, as you can see. Quite a bit of fallout. This is so awkward. So awkward. So let's just pop her in it. Oh, look at that. That's a bit pigmented. That's a bit, bit more pigmented than I was expecting it to be. Oh, got rogue lash, rogue, rogue lashes. They would be rogue if they were up there. I have got rogue eyebrows coming through now. It's been a few weeks since I had my eyebrows waxed. Oh, that that's really. I like that. That is nice. I like that. That's a pretty colour, and it's also. It's really easy to blend and the pigment is okay for a transition shade. I think that that is good. I'm using my Zoeva brush, by the way, that I always use. Okay, so that's quite a pretty... Yeah, I'm quite happy with that as a transition colour. That looks quite nice. So, I'm going to build her up a little bit by using, what am I going to use? I'm going to use this purpley colour here, which is shade number 12. Um, just to see if I can build that up a little bit. I think I've brought enough brushes down with me, actually. I'm going to use my... Zoeva 230 Lux Pencil. And just do that very, very gently in... Oh, yes, look at that. And just in... Increase, just to deepen that up a little bit, because that... just to deepen that socket up a little bit you can see that it's very very pigmented okay so I'll just blend that out over here soften that up That blends nice. So now I've blended that, I'm going to use a little bit of this pinky colour here, which is shade number 11. Um, and I'm just going to bring that in over my lid to about halfway.
Then I'm going to use um, a little bit of this colour here, which is shade 6. And that is literally just to um, deepen that outer corner. And just make that a little bit brighter. Like so, God, the colour, the pale from this is really good. I'm really enjoying, really, really enjoying doing this because there's no fallout on my face at all. I mean, that is going on just amazing. And I'm just literally using a pencil brush. It's so pretty, though. I feel like I could get away with just this. It's beautiful. Beautiful. And then what I'm going to use, I'm going to use the gold colour, which is shade 10, which is this one here. I'm just going to pop that over my lid. I'm just using one of my unicorn brushes for Makeup Revolution. Do you see that? Bless you. Can you just, can you see that gold? That's like, that's there. That gold is there, isn't it? You can see it. You can definitely, definitely see it. Put more on. Oh, that's pretty. That is, that I like that. And then I'm obviously going to put a highlight into the corner of my eye. So I'm going to use shade number one down here, which is a fairly warm, um, sort of champagne-y colour. It's very crumbly. She is. That's pretty. I think I like this palette a lot. This palette is so pretty. Okay, and then what I'm going to do, I think just to give it that little bit of extra depth, I'm going to use this colour, which is shade 40. Tempted by shade 15, you know. I think I might go with the, the more of the indigo. I have got that colour on today in my trousers, to be fair. Let's just see how that goes under the eye. different that is different okay so There's my final look. Let me just bring the camera in so you can have a look. So that's my final look on what she looks like. That gold, I just like... It's beautiful. So I'm just going to go and pop my um, 
eyeliner and mascara on and I'll be right back. So, my overall thoughts on this so far is that I really, really like it. Um, I will put in down below how she fares during the day, etc. I'll put on how she fares during the day, but she is so pretty and she's £5. £5 for 15 shades. I think that is a really, really good price. Or I know there is another palette out there, which is also 15 shades and is £4. Um, and it's bigger. But I think that the payoff on this is really good. I'm enjoying this. And it's making me regret selling all my makeup, my, no, not my makeup. It's making me regret selling all my MUA palettes that I had done. Um, because I do like this. So, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope that you found it informative. I hope that it's been good enough for you to say, yes, I want that, or no, I don't want that. Um, if you've got any questions, please ask away. Um, you know, if you want me to do a different look, just say and I will do a different look. But this is really, really pretty and I'm really enjoying, enjoying using it. So, there you go. Thank you so much for joining me on the video today. I, you know... I've said that already, why am I saying it again? But thank you. Please subscribe if you haven't done already. Give me a big thumbs up and I will see you in the next video. Ta-ta for now. Bye-bye.